All right, guys, today we have something that's just come out. Um, this is actually just landed fresh from China, um, from straight from Kitty Hawk. This is the two-seat version of the Mirage 2000, the DN version. And we're going to go through the box here and uh, show you what's in the box. Um, then we'll get some parts out and kind of take a closer look. So very typical um, Kitty Hawk packaging, top opening box. This is kit number 32022. Um, this is instruction manual. Um, we'll go through that in a minute. Look, that's nice of them. Free uh, bag of coronavirus masks with every order. It's very nice of them. Put that aside for the moment. Um, all right, so here's the parts, fuselage halves. Um, comes with a nice uh, resin exhaust nozzle. Um, looks very nicely cast. Uh, nice rivet detail. Um, good internal detail on that. Um, we'll get this out and take a look at it in a moment. So first sprue that you are greeted with is the fuselage halves. Um, not a big airplane, but a good size in 132nd scale. Um, for those of you guys who only build 48th or 72nd scale, this is what proper size should be. Um, got cockpit tub, uh, combing, instrument panels, uh, rear combing. These look like the uh, little doors on top of the wings. Um, we'll kind of go through these a little bit more, more in detail later. Uh, we'll get out all the sprues and kind of go through them, but just a quick overview right now. So that's that sprue. Next little sprue, um, we have the tail. Um, some of the uh, panels, these are the uh, exhaust. I think these are, I think these go around the exhaust, or they might be the intakes. Here's the one of the tail sections, nose cone, um, something that goes under the fuselage, I believe. But again, very sharp detail, no flash, very nicely molded, no complaints there. Next sprue, um, we have these are the other parts of the uh, rear tail section that go by the exhaust nozzle. Um, these are little speed brake bays that go on the wings, I believe. Um, some intake parts, some gear doors, uh, slats, um, flaps and such, and some other small miscellaneous details. Next screw, these are the massive um, underwing tanks. Um, also you have on here, this is a, these are two sprues that are exactly the same. Got, uh, wheels, um, looks like some detail for the gun, part of the seat. Um, this is, I don't know what that is, um, some, uh, small pylons, some, uh, these are for the tanks, I believe. Um, yeah, a bunch of little details on this sprue. Uh, I'll take a closer look in a minute. This is one of the weapon sprues. Um, you have, um... I don't know what all these are. These are French weapons for the most part. Uh, but these are those giant, I believe they're called the scalp missiles. Um, that'll be a cool to load out on it. Get two of those. Next sprue, uh, more pylons. Um, there's a targeting pod of some form or other, another targeting pod. Uh, this is another targeting pod. Three targeting pods, maybe. Um, again, you get two of these exact same sprue. I suspect that you're gonna have a lot of weapons left over from this. Um, okay, so next sprue coming out of the box. These are details for the gear bays, um, some other little antennas, pitot tubes, gear legs. Here are the different fin caps. I believe the, well, this is the DN version. I believe there's some difference that uh, distinguishes them between them, so, uh, or between the two versions. So you'll have to check those out, check your, re check your references. Um, down here, we have the full engine, it looks like. I'm guessing you won't be able to see this after you build it, but for those of you who are inclined to do a maintenance diorama or some other creative uh, work to leave this out of the model while still being able to assemble it. Um, it's there for you. There's the nose gear bay. Got some nice uh, plumbing and such molded into it. Um, these are the, um, the first stage compressor, fan, 
pretty good detail actually on that nose gear leg some of the more little details for the engines um two halves got some basic cabling on that i'm sure if you were to detail it up uh, it would look really nice so moving on uh top and bottom wing halves um very sharp rivet detail on that good depth um no no fade uh it looks like you get part of the wing fillet or you get the the fillet at the base of the wing root molded in so hopefully that'll give you a nice join underside this is part of the gear bay um again very sharp detail no um visible sink marks um yeah very nice all right in this box i believe the are the clear parts we'll get those out in a minute uh down here you have several massive decal sheets and a bit of photo etch which we'll try to flop out a little bit Let's see if we can see that damn um you can see there's some photo etch belts i believe those are some stiffening plates or other uh like uh detail bits for one of the bays other than that decal sheet we're not going to get this out um i don't know how accurate these markings are uh i've the only scheme that i've really seen these in is more of a just a straight green and gray camouflage but i'm sure there's there there's a tiger meat scheme in here there's one that has like a giant bird of some form on it with a weird demon on the tail that'll be interesting to look at um and some big green or a big yellow uh lettering as well um but maybe we'll get these out in a minute but stand by we'll get some parts out and take a closer look all right so we're gonna flip through the instructions real quick um nothing terribly incredible or crazy about this standard kitty hawk instruction manual you got the box right on the front qr code which leads you to um their uh chinese web store so that won't really do you any good here in the u.s but it's there some info on there for them um opening it up parts map uh pretty standard decal sheets resin part pe all pretty standard start off with the cockpit uh consoles instrument panels seats wheel bays uh putting some details into the fuselage and then you go straight into the engine from there you have some choices i believe of different tail cones for the different versions uh going into the intakes nose cone radar full radar going in and then you go to the wings. Uh, it looks like they have you build the wings separately off the model and then put them on. It may be prudent to look into other methods of attaching them just in case. Uh, here's those different fin caps. So check your references on which one you'll need. These, um, as Kitty Hawk usually do it, the uh, painting guide is kind of stuck right into the middle of the instruction sheet. So you got here some of the paint guides and decal placement guides for the ordnance, the tanks, that gigantic missile. And uh, then you have in here the various different marking options. There's like a camo one as well. Uh, here's those big yellow letters and logos. There's a there's one with a giant pig on the side, so that's kind of interesting. Uh, yeah, so you'll have to pull this out, I believe, to get the best use of it. But just kind of flipping through here so you guys can see. There's the one with that giant bird and the devil on the side. More options, one with a cool shark mouth. There's a gray one with a logo on the, with like a shield on the bottom. There's the other half of that desert camo one. There's the other side of that pig. Anyway, uh, here's, here you can see the wings going on. So they have, have you build the wings off the fuselage and then kind of attach them as one unit, which could go well or not so well, depending on how that fit is. And you may have to find some way to brace it because it looks like you only have one butt joint that goes uh, from the wing into the side of the fuselage. So depending on how it goes in, strength may or may not be an issue. So do your test fitting and maybe play around a little bit to get the best fit. Here we have some more of the details going in around the rear end. The engine nozzle going in, speed brakes, uh, wheel bays, some details going to the wheel bay, main landing gear. These are the um, gear bay door doors. Gear going in. And we get into the various ordnance. So you have, I believe that's a gun pod. This is the gigantic wing tank. This is that missile, it's a different kind of wing tank, a couple of different missiles down here, a uh, different kind of missile, uh, some kind of uh, various different kinds of uh, targeting pods going here. Uh, the different pylons that all these are associated with showing where the pylons go. And then a very helpful 
uh, loading diagram so you can see what goes where, what, um, what this thing actually flew with. And that's it, back is blank. All right, so from there, we'll take a quick look at the decal sheet. I know we said we weren't, but it's actually quite extensive and very, very colorful, so I'm sure some people are gonna be interested in it. So here's a little insert. Uh, as you can see, there are some pretty complex, um, pretty complex printing on this, uh, but you can see there's a tiger, there's a some kind of a bird, it's a crazy looking devilish demon kind of thing. Um, I, don't, I, I haven't used Kitty Hawk decals in the past, but these look to be fairly thin um, with minimal carrier film. So I don't know how these are gonna go on, but they look good on the sheet at least. Uh, hopefully somebody online will report back and see how these go. Then you have this gigantic sheet. I think it goes like this. Uh, that is a very scary looking pig with lipstick. There's uh, another pig on the side. There's that shield. Uh, something to keep in mind with that, it looks like it goes over various bay doors, so you're gonna have to cut it. Uh, that'll be interesting and fun. Here's the, I guess, the, st the, the standard sheet with um, all the aircraft numbers on all manner of stencil detail, walkway detail, caution lines, and all that. Um, and this, again, the sh there's a there's a clear film on top of this, so don't take that into account. But if you peel that off, all of these look to be fairly thin, and I mean the colors are bright. There's some instrument decals right there. Um, colors or they look thin. Colors are bright. Everything looks in register. Um, I've heard good things about these. I haven't personally used them, so take that with a grain of salt. And uh, in the same bag, you get this little thing of photo etch, which uh, belts. Uh, I believe that's part of the HUD or something, or HUD's down here, more belts, some kind of a um, perforated stiffener plate, and I don't know where these go, but yeah, very, very thin sheet. You can easily bend this, just be careful with it. Here's the uh, the aforementioned resin uh, exhaust nozzle, got some good detail on the inside there, um, nice recessed detail on the outside. Um, can't really say anything else about this. Uh, it looks really nice. I'm sure other companies will come out with different versions of it or even better versions than this. Uh, so keep your eyes out for that. Uh, cool, we'll put these aside right now and we'll be right back. Okay, and we're back. So now we're gonna take a little bit of a closer look at some of these sprues. Uh, we're not gonna go through every sprue. We'll go through some of the ones that I've kind of looked at and I uh, want to call out some specific things about the kit. So we'll start with this uh, sprue that has the main fuselage halves on it. I'm sure this is the this is probably what most people are curious about. Um, two halves on the same sprue. Um, if you look closely here, you get some very nice recessed detail. Um, all the panel lining and riveting is sharp. There is a bit of a mold line around the bottom there. You can see just between this panel line. So you will have to clean that up. Uh, it doesn't look it looks like it's more of a raised line. One side's a little higher than the other side, so quick little swipe with a sanding sponge, you should be fine. Down here, you have some vents that go into the fuselage. They are fairly deeply recessed. They're not, they, they don't go all the way through, but they are fairly deep and should hold a wash very well. And all the panel lining is sharp and there's no fade as it gets closer to the edge. If you look at the top here, very sharp detail. Um, one of the major complaints of a lot of kits now is that as they get towards curves, like up over here by the fuselage, that detail will fade, but that is definitely not the case here. Um, a little bit of a close-up on the instrument panels. Nothing crazy going on with them, but I believe there's instrument decals. You can use the kit ones. You can use, um, I recommend the ones from uh, Airscale. So you put some, you can drop some gauges in there and that should brighten it up a lot. Uh, this is the cockpit tub, nothing crazy again, but a, a nice neat paint job, maybe um, using the kit uh, instrument penalty or kit console decals should lighten up very nice or should detail up very nicely. Combing, this is a little screen that goes between the front and rear cockpits. Generally very nicely molded can see very sharp detail in those two little uh, hatch doors there. This is some form of a little uh, 
think that builds up into a bottle of some kind, but not exactly sure. All right, so there's that sprue. Next, we'll take a look at actually the clear parts, which are right here. Very nicely done. You can see this is that clear screen that goes between the pilot and the rear seat. Um, you can see through that there is basically no distortion, but it is a flat piece. Um, these are the different canopies down here. Again, taking a closer look at it, no visible distortion. There is a very, very faint center uh, mold line seam that you'll have to polish out. But in general, I don't really envision any issues with these. All right, cool. Um, next, we have the wing pieces. So these are the upper and lower. You can see very, very sharp, consistent rivet detail. There's a little bit of a uh, waviness in the plastic. You can see there's that like line through there. That's um, just part of the molding process. There's no actual, uh, no actual seam or anything there going on, but you can see some raised detail that uh, stiffener at the wing root. Um, there's like a molded vent. There's the, I believe that's some form of speed brake well. Good bit of stiffener detail on that. This is the bottom side again, raised and recessed detail, all very sharply done. This is the underside of that same sprue. Um, you can see some ejector pin marks in here, but none are in areas I believe that will be seen. Um, so this is the actual gear bay area. This is the bottom side of that little bay. Um, you're not going to see that, so it should be fine. Uh, let's see, what's next? Next we have this sprue, which uh, has some uh, of the gear bay detail in it. So we'll just give you a quick look at this. This is one of the gear bay walls. Again, there's some molded in cabling. I'm sure scratch builders will want to uh, add more detail to that. But this, if we're out of the box, paint it up, give it a nice little wash in there. I think it'll look really nice. There's the radar, nice molding on that. These are the different fin caps. So you have this one right here, and you also have these, which have a little bit of difference, kind of like this extra vent or a little light or something like that there. Um, but again, all these look nice, no ejector pin marks in visible areas, no flash. Uh, very nice to see. This is some form of, I believe, conduit or cabling detail uh, that'll go into one of the bays, gear legs, no complaints there. All right, so that pretty much sums up this kit. Um, Kitty Hawk has obviously come a very long way uh, since the early days, um, but a couple of quick things here. If you're looking for paint colors, the I think the official called out colors for a Mirage in that green and uh, gray camouflage is two, or 36231 and 34079. Um, I do have my concerns about this particular color. It does look a little too light and not necessarily blue enough in certain respects. So probably look for a different color on this. Um, I'd say even maybe at least looking at these photos, you might even consider something like gunship gray, but um, kind of depending on what paint lines you use, that'll be something to consider. And uh, this actually is a French language book that you can pick up. I don't know if it's still in print, but you can still find it around. Um, various different uh, photos of mirages in action, uh, as well as uh, different details on, on loadouts. Uh, you have, at one point, there's um, different loadouts showing different missiles that it carries, some, some uh, of the history details on the seat, on some of the cockpit details. Um, here's some uh, close-ups of the gear bays, the gear, the engine, uh, should help you with your super detailing and such. Some close-ups on the wings, the underside of the flaps, uh, the gun, or that's not a gun, that's some kind of a, I can't read that, it's in French, but uh, yeah. Anyway, hope you uh, enjoyed watching this. Just one of the quick, quick and dirty reviews. I uh, hope everybody's staying safe at home. If you're quarantined, hop online, shoot Kitty Hawk a message. 
order this up for yourself and you have some fun with the fun at the bench for the next few months but yeah thanks for watching take care